Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're doing fantastic. Let me introduce myself for those who don't know me. My name is Sarah and I'm gonna be your storyteller. Thanks for being here. I believe that listening and reading stories is the best way to travel around the world from the comfort of your home. So let's go! Learning about no. In this time of change, many people believe that the word no is shall we say less than positive word and shouldn't be used with the children. Everything should be positive. It is becoming a yes world, but maybe no still has its place. Sophia was excited. She was now in the third grade and it was her first day of school. As she finished her breakfast, she looked out of the window and saw all her friends waiting for the bus. Mommy, can I ride the bus? She asked. Yes, Mommy said. Sophia was ever more excited. She jumped up from the table to go to the bus stop. Then her Mommy said, Yes, you can ride the bus next week, but I'll walk with you to school for the first week. Sophia was sad and confused. She thought her mommy said she could ride the bus, but then kind of changed the answer. Sophia wondered why her mommy just didn't say no. At least then she wouldn't have gotten so excited. Oh well, Sophia sighed. Let's go. It is long walk. Several days later, the music teacher talked with Sophia's class. She explained about all the instruments and had the third grads demonstrate each of them. Sophia heard the flute and thought that it made the prettiest sound she had ever heard. Can I play the flute? Sophia asked. Well, it depends replied the music teacher. First, you need to get your parents' permission and then join the band. You also need to know that learning to play the flute or any instrument takes a lot of hard work. Now, if you are willing to put in the work and you parents need you join the band, then the answer is yes. And I would be happy to have a join. We need another good flutist. Sophia was so excited and couldn't wait to ask her mommy. School was over and as Sophia walked out of the door, she saw her mommy waiting. She ran down the sidewalk, wailing out. I want to play the flute. Can I play the flute? I want to join the band. Calm down, Sophia, her mommy said. Sophia took a deep breath, counted to three, and said, Can I please play the flute in the school band? Yes, of course you can, her mommy replied. Oh, Sophia was so very happy. She had gotten permission and was now going to play the flute in the band. Her mommy then said, Yes, you can play an instrument just like I did. The tuba is a great instrument and you can ever have mine. The same one I used when I was in a band. Oh, poor Sophia, she was so sad. She wanted to play the flute, not the tuba. Sophia just didn't understand why her mommy said yes when she asked, but really mean no. At least no for the instrument Sophia really wanted to play. Maybe I want to join the band, Sophia said in a low sad voice. Well, that's up to you, her mommy replied. As Sophia finished her breakfast, she looked out the window and saw all her friends waiting for the bus. She was so very excited. 
This was a very special day. The week was up and she could ride the bus with all her friends. She squirmed in her chair as she gulped down the last mouthful of milk. Bye, mommy, she squealed as she ran toward the door. And if I can't ride the bus, please say no. It is easier for me to understand. So, my friends, the story ended for today. But before we finish, I want to tell you the moral from this story. No is a good word and should be understood by all. I hope you enjoyed the story. Leave us a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel to stay updated on a new videos. See you next time and take care. Bye bye friends.